Here's how to make the perfect clicker game in Scratch, part one. So first we're gonna delete Scratchy. I'm gonna do paint. And just for the time being, I'm gonna create a cookie. And there we go, cookie. And so now to fix a little bit of a clipping issue, I'm gonna create a rectangle with everything sent to just transparent, I guess. And it'll fix a bit of a clipping issue up here. Very handy to know. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do one green flag clicked. Go to zero, zero, variable, and name it cookies. Hit okay. One green flag clicked, set cookies to zero. And when this sprite clicked, change cookies by one. So now you have the legitimate basic clicker game. This is as simple as it gets, but this is boring. So to fix that, I'm going to do forever, if else, touching mouse pointer. I'm going to grab, it says size two, and the size a minus in divide so size minus i think it's 500 and then put it in the divide and do two and then you want to grab all of this in here i think that's how it is i'll check it out in a minute so then i'll do 30 and that's way too big so 300 350 now as you can see if i hover over it it does a little bit of a bounce which is probably going to make the player stay longer right click duplicate put this here change it to 400 and so now as you click it gets bigger how cool but we're not stopping there i got this handy dandy thing here i'm going to break it apart so i can show you you're going to want to get timer in the times 100 I'm put that in the sin of if you scroll down here you can see the abs if you click it'll show you the sin so you just change it to that and i want to do times two and plus 90 and then put that in direction and now i'm going to put this in the forever loop up here and now as you can see it starts to rotate slightly i'm going to put this to like five it's going to make it rotate by five degrees which is really satisfying and so now another step i could do is right click duplicate get rid of this take out everything except for this part this is important get rid of the point and do set y i'm going to drag this all in here i'm going to put this to zero and i think we can keep that the same same so let's just see what that looks like now you can see it's hovering up and down and twisting and it still works the same so now it's just a lot more satisfying i'm actually gonna change this to 375 because i feel like that's way too big actually i'll do i'll do 25 increase by everything so change this to 325 and then this 350 and so now it's just a little bit less overwhelming and so another neat trick you can do is when this sprite clicked create a clone and over here i'm gonna do when i start as a clone go to zero zero set size to 50 and i'm going to create a variable for the sprite only y speed clone and so now i'm going to set y speed clone to zero and then forever change y speed clone by negative one and actually instead of zero i'm going to set it to 10 i'm going to do change y by y speed clone so now i think as you can see it starts to make clones and they drop now this cookie is a little bit too big so i'm going to do 200 225 and 250 so if i start the game there we go so i'm going to put this like 30 now oh, way too small i have to change it to 50 yeah 50 is all right okay now go 40 there we go. 40 looks nicer i'm going to just get rid of that variable and i'm also going to set ghost to maybe i'll just do 50 and now i'm going to do make it variable for this sprite only x speed clone i'm going to x speed clone to pick random negative 10 to 10 now i'm going to change x by x speed clone so now it's now it's going to spew off in random directions anywhere from 10 to negative 10 maybe i'll do like negative 7 and 7 but as you can see there's a problem and they just chillax on the floor and that's going to take up a lot of space because there's gonna be too many clones so when i start as a clone forever if touching edge then wait 0.05 seconds and then delete this clone so now they smoothly transition to nothing nice i'm gonna hide the x speed clone and just to see if this looks good i'm going to do point in direction y speed and so now they're going to be rotating a little bit and i'm also going to set this ghost effect to 25 just because i thought it maybe looked a little bit too ghost and actually i think that looks better it looks a lot better okay we're good thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day come back for part two so make sure to subscribe and like